Good afternoon once again. The numbers don't lie and they are painting the cold hard truth about the opioid epidemic here in western New York. So far this year there have been 80 confirmed overdose deaths and then another 132 suspected deaths. These are the latest figures from the Erie County Health Department and for every death another family is forever torn apart. While a new multi-million dollar initiative is now underway to try and fix this drug problem and it focuses on families. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Muller picks up the story for us tonight. Again, It's very difficult when you're telling people in court you have to change this and do this, and then you send them back into the family with all the things that brought on the addiction to begin with. Every day, Erie County Family Court Judge Margaret Setzer sees firsthand the devastating effects opioid abuse has on families. Of the 70 families that have come through her courtroom over the past four months, 95% have been touched by the epidemic. That's why she and others are taking the fight against the opioid crisis to the next level. A $2 million federal grant will power a brand new Erie County Family Treatment Drug Court to help the children affected. This brings services to the entire family and wraps them around the entire family because this is a family issue. Opioid addiction not only affects those struggling, but also loved ones. The five-year federal grant is aimed to bring new resources to break the cycle of addiction and build stronger families. This can be a vicious cycle of a child following a parent who fouls the same type of things that they saw with their, their parent. The Erie County Family Court is working with the University at Buffalo and Best Self Behavioral Health to spread the word about the help that's available now and the new services on the way. We see a lot of broken families families as a result of this epidemic and we want to give those families an opportunity to survive and thrive. The new services will include mental health counseling, prevention and educational services as well as a relapse prevention. Brittany Muller, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks Brittany. All new